For ages, men have gone down to the sea in ships. Hardy men who brave the perils of small boats and tossing waves to fish with hook and trawl, to fish with sweeping net, to bring back from the sea an important part of our food supply. Hello, everybody. I built the boat, and this is my video. I want to show you how I did it and why I did it. I'll start with the why, obviously for fishing. Look at that halibut. Some of my best fishing days were out on the water on those boats. And so I decided to build my own. I noticed the boats we would rent were made out of plywood. And so I looked for boats similar to those online. But before that, I thought about getting a kayak. Thought about it. Spira International is where I found myself after a quick Google search, uh, after searching um, different plans for home-built home boats. Uh, the Pacific Power Dory really caught my eye. Um, just look at these videos of these dories launching from the surf. They're flat bottom boats, but they were designed in Pacific City, Oregon to launch from the surf. And they, they seem pretty seaworthy, so I decided to build one of these. Out of the many plans that were available on the site, I decided to purchase the Seneca plans. It's a 14 foot boat. And I thought it was perfect just for fishing. Um, previously on the site, they had the plans there that they had uh, study plans that you could look at. Uh, I believe now you can't look at them uh, due to Jeff Spira passing away. Um, but that's how it was when I bought them. Here's a few pictures of the start of the build. Um, it's just the frames in the transom. I built them according to the specs given on the plans. As you can see here, a lot of uh, these frames required some notches. And so there's a few photos and videos of me making those notches to fit certain pieces when the boat's put together. Uh, here's me building the strong back, and this is where the boat's going to remain upside down till we flip it. And here I am fitting the chime logs. Here I am putting the Kilson in. I actually did this backwards. I should have done this first, but it, it ended up working out just fine. Now it's put together and fared with the planer. Then the plywood. I did half inch on the sides and half inch on the bottom. The plans called for three eighths on the side, but all I had was half inch. After that was done, I filled in all the holes and divots to get ready for fiberglass and epoxy. First, I wet the hull with epoxy and then, you know, worked it out with the squeegee. I didn't get the video, man. It was uh, very frustrating to say the least. It was my first time doing it, made a lot of mistakes. Um, on my next one, I can do a lot better, but it is what it is. It's my first one. I decided to add a little bit more fiberglass on the corners just to be safe.
After that, it was time for a light sand. I hit it with 80 grit, then 120 grit. Then I wiped down the hull to prep it for paint. Here I am starting with the primer. And here we have the finished color, almond white. Ooh, feisty. With the help of my brother, we got her flipped. This thing was heavy. The plan say she weighs 440 pounds, but she displaces about 1,200 pounds. Still had some fairing to do with the planer. There was a few screws that needed the grinder. Here I am fitting the rails. Got two coats of epoxy on the inside to seal the wood. And then painted the inside royal blue. Here I am putting in the 1x4 decking. And here's the perfect size trailer I was able to get for a great deal on Facebook Marketplace. And now it's time to get the rail caps on. Here she is, stained and varnished. I like a matte finish on my wood. I think it looks classy. Time to take it to the lake to test it out. And there she is, she floats beautifully. In my boat? She took about a year to build. It was totally worth it. Can't wait to be out on the ocean fishing. I'll see you out there. Have a good one.